Okay, LDBC, this is your boy, The Coach, and you're live on The Coaching Show, The Coaching Show Live. Okay, um, you know, I got a, a really lengthy email from my brother who, he's been subscribed to my channel since I was at 200 subs, okay? This is even before I wouldn't even, you know, doing any boxing videos. I ain't done a single boxing video. This brother was still, he was subbed to my channel. Um, and he was the first person to ever leave a comment on my boxing videos. And him and I, we've stayed in touch for all these years. Okay, he's been subscribed to my channel for five years, okay? And we've stayed in touch. You know, we hit each other up sometimes behind the scenes. But, you know, for this one, he told me, Coach, you know, could you make a video? You know, because what I want to do is I want to reference this video. I want to edit it, take it, and then ingest what you're saying. Um, and I told y'all that a lot of this stuff like this, I'd be putting on Patreon or something like that. But, you know, for this brother, I'm, I'm going to do it and post it here. Um because I think it's, it's some information that I want to tell him that, you know, you got to consider. So the synapses of the whole story is that, you know, you've been dating this woman. You've been dating her for three years. And, you know, that's your fiance. You guys were, you, you intended to marry this woman. Well, okay. So, you know, he, the brother intended to marry this woman. And when it got close for, for them to actually get married, she didn't want to marry. Okay. She didn't want to marry. And it could be for a lot of reasons, you know. She didn't want to marry. Not only that, you were saying that it's like it's almost like she don't even want to, you know, communicate with you. Now, when somebody don't want to marry you and y'all, that's all y'all been talking about, this person, they've given you a lot of red flags. I'm going to tell you. They've given you a lot of red flags. <laughs> Maybe one day you come home and, you know, she don't even, you know, like ask you, you know, how things are. Or she don't even speak to you when you come into the door. That's a red flag. OK, or, you know, if she don't even, you know, she won't even hug you or embrace you and y'all been together three years. It's a red flag. OK, if she's silent all of a sudden, you know, when you're trying to talk to her, she very short worded or just don't have much to say to you. That's a red flag. Or if you call her throughout the day and, you know, you call her a few times and she don't pick the phone up, you know, that's fine. But if she don't return your call, you know, within a reasonable time frame, that's a red flag. See, these are all red flags. Or she even tell you something to the extent of, hey, hey, you know, we don't spend enough time together. You know, we don't talk like we used to. See, these are all red flags. They're all red flags that, you know, to us, the male, we, you know, we, we kind of, we shake these off. Okay, like, okay, well, she just complaining. You know, she just complaining. Okay, I'll go get her something. I'll go, you know, I hang out with her. You know, we're, we're, we're doing our fix it. See, these are all red flags. Um, but here go the thing. If that were me. And, you know, if it was the person I was supposed to marry and if she told me, hey, I want to marry you, I would jump for joy and say, hallelujah. Thank God. Thank you, God. That's what I would say. And I'm going to tell you why. Because now, see, I'm, I'm, I'm in my early 40s. You know, I'm in my early 40s. And, you know, see, you're 29. I wish I would have had somebody tell me when I was 29, look, you need to reinvent yourself. You need to get your streams of income up. OK, you need to get up, get your streams of income, reinvent yourself and start really working on your outside sources of income besides besides your nine to five. And I'm going to tell you why you do that, because, see, when you have your finances straight, you have your credit straight, then you don't have to do a lot of the day to day things. You don't have to do a whole lot of day to day things that's going to keep you away from the person that you're trying to marry. But, you know, when you get into a relationship and even if you would have married her, man. When if you let's say if you even chose to get ambitious, if you choose to get ambitious and if you even want to start your own business or, you know, that spouse, you know, most of the time the spouse won't support you. They won't support you. I want you to think back when you guys were dating and anytime you've ever you know, had an ambition, was she excited about that or did she tell you all the reasons why it probably wouldn't work? Seriously, like I, I want you to go back and just really think, think about y'all three years and if you ever got excited about doing something. You know, if, if, if somebody show you, if somebody say, hey, let's go into business together. You know, if somebody, you know, or if you even say, hey, you know, I want to open my own bar. I want to open my own restaurant. You know, I want to open up this. I want to open it up that. You know, what was her expression? Did she get excited or did she tell you some of the roadblocks that it would take to do this? Or was she a ride or die chick and say, hey, OK, well, whatever you do, I'm going to do. I'm with you. See, that that's the one you want. You want the ride or die chick that no matter what you do, she going to support you. As long as it means, you know, bringing in viable, you know, income for the family, 
you know, maybe y'all can be, you know, financially and debt free. If that woman going to follow you into, into the pits of hell and firing back, you want to ride or die chick. See me, you know, I wish I would have had somebody telling me at 29, look, man, stop chasing all these women around and reinvent yourself. Work on your other streams of income. Work on your other streams of income. See, you know, I desire 10 streams of income. I got five right now. I desire 10. Okay. I want 10. And that's my goal to get 10. You see, that will put a stamp on what you're doing and who you are. I mean, shout for joy. Matter of fact, when she, look, she broke up with you. She not upset. You upset. And, and you know, man, every single minute that you waste, every single minute that you waste being upset that she left you or look, man, that's a minute of creativity that you've lost. That's a minute of creativity that you've lost. And, and I know that this this is hard. This is hard to hear. It, it, it's hard to listen to this. But I really loved her. You know, you probably did. But, you know, are you really sure that she loved you? Like, are you really, really sure that she really loved you with all her heart? Because if she did, she'd be marrying you right now. Or there's something about your character. It's something about you that she she's just discovered that she just don't like. And I'm going to tell you something. It's a complete turnoff. See, I don't know if you even got a chance to even talk to her. But I tell you, if you do get a chance, man, tell her to tell you the honest to God truth. But you can't get mad. See, you can't get mad. You got to listen. Uh, listen, baby. I, I, OK, you're not going to marry me. I understand. Um, I just need you to be straight up with me and give me the hard truth. Even if I don't want to hear it, if you don't want to say it, just tell me why you don't want to marry me. She's going to tell you the truth because anybody who was going to commit to you, commit their life to you. They're going to tell you why they don't want to all of a sudden. But see, you got to you got to take the truth and you can't say nothing. You're going to have to digest that truth. OK. You got to digest that truth. But this is the time for you to reinvent yourself. You see, you ain't, you ain't got to be tied down. When you marry, you tied down. See, it's certain things that you ain't going to be able to do. You ain't going to be able to, you know, hustle like you want to hustle because you got a wife. Dude, if you ain't got your 10 streams of income, if you don't have, if, dude, look, if you ain't working on inventing yourself, now's the time. This the time now. Okay? Later for getting married. You're 29. You 29, bro. You got a long time to get married. See, work on your mental health. Even in it, and if you have, you know, if you feel like, hey, you know, I need to get in gym, work on your physical health and work on your financial health. Man, work on that. Reinvent yourself. It's time. It's time to reinvent yourself. Now, if you if you're talking about now you want to get her back, well, now there's a couple of things that go into play. Okay, there's a couple of things that we gotta address. Number one, okay. <laughs> If she don't desire you, that could be a problem because that means she probably desires somebody else. And I'm going to tell you, if somebody don't want to marry you, and I'm just, just, just through my experience and just what I've seen, there's somebody else in the, in the pocket. There's somebody else, man, that she got her mind on. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you that now. If she don't even want to deal with you on that level, she don't even, she don't even want to communicate with you. It's somebody else, okay? And you got to be prepared for that. Now, you know, if you want to fight to get her back, I mean, okay, some females ain't worth it. Here, just let them go. <laughs> just let them go. I wouldn't even worry about one. I wouldn't worry about one that don't want to marry me. Man, I go find me somebody who will see the king in me. That'll follow the king to his castle. That ain't going to question a lot of things. Like, you know, I, I get me one that I'm the king and she know I'm the king. <laughs> like this man in the picture. Are you crazy? I will never, I'll never bow at a woman's feet. I, are you? Nah. Just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Why would I do that? I, I, I mean, I'm the man. <laughs> I ain't finna bow at her feet. I ain't finna beg her to marry me. I ain't finna be like, oh, please marry me. Please don't, don't want me. What? Nah, okay, if you want to go, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, see that, that's, that's. Kind of your mentality you got to have until you find that ride or die, the one that's going to do what you wanted to do. That's it. But something about you, something about your personality just turned you off, turned her off. She don't want nothing to do with you. See, I don't know if you squabbled your finances and only you can answer these questions. I don't know. Maybe if you had a flirtatious, you know, relationship with somebody, maybe you cheated on her. See, these are questions only you can answer. 
But if she just randomly said it and you've been doing everything you can do, hell, <laughs> I'd be like, man, you are, you're a hot commodity. You're a dude with a job, okay? You're a dude with a job. You're a dude that, you know, you faithfully care for your woman. You're a hot commodity. Man, I'd be thinking, man, all these nerd women, all these freaking women, I ain't finna worry about one that don't care about me. Heck no. I ain't worried about one woman don't care about me. And I'm finna go reinvent myself. See, now's the time to do it, man. With all this pandemic going on, dude, you don't even need to be tied down. I'm, I'm being honest. You don't need to be tied down. When you reinvent yourself and you got everything you want out of life, financially, mentally, physically, now you settle down. Because, see, now you'll be in the right mind. You'll be in the right mind. And then you'll, you'll, you'll have the right mentality to see if the person good for you. Some of the telltale signs, some of the stuff you should have picked up on. Number one, is she good with money? Man, look, this 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 the first thing you got to know. Cause if a woman good with money, I don't care what you do, man. The marriage is gonna be unstable. If she's if she's not good with money, that marriage unstable. Okay, and it's probably some signs you saw, but you overlooked that because you was in love with her. That that hey that that, that that's fair game. That's understandable. She got good credit. I'm going to tell you, man, you, you got to check the credit on some of these women. Because if they got bad credit, you better believe they're going to be bad wives. See, nobody gets bad credit, man. And I don't know, man, it's, it's bad credit. Look, man, every single woman that I've met who credit is jacked up. I'm going to tell you something they hell to live with. They hell to be in a relationship with. And you're going to find yourself always having to help them come out of the hole. You're going to always, every time you turn around... They're going to be needing you to give them some money. Every time you turn around, they're going to be needing you to purchase stuff in your name. I'm going to tell you, man, don't mess with me. I don't care how, I don't care how beautiful she is. If her credit bad, she's going to send you, man, she's going to, look, she's going to send you into the fourth dimension of hell. I mean, I mean, man, you better believe what I'm telling you. Okay, it's going there. Anything. The relationship she got with her parents, preferably her daddy. She got a bad relationship with her daddy. You might as well hang it up. If her relationship with her dad is real, real bad, I'm gonna tell you that's gonna interfere with your relationship with her. And it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a done deal for you. Okay? That's just how it is. But you gotta look for some telltale signs, man. You gotta look. And I ain't saying ain't, ain't something, I'm not saying anything's wrong with marriage for some of you people, oh man, <laughs> coaches against marriage. I'm not against marriage. But I'm not against sitting here moping. If somebody don't want to marry you, okay, fine, let, let them go. Let them go. Because in your mind, you are a hot commodity. And there's nobody better than you. You was the best thing that ever happened. See, that's what you got to start saying. And you know how many women out here? Do you know how many women that will marry you now if they know you're going to act right? Do you know? Look, man, I'm, tell I'm telling you now, man. You know, I, I try to stay in the base uh, best shape that I can. You know, I try to do what I do to keep my skin looking. Look, man, when I go off and I go to different places, they come up to you, man. And now in my 40s, I, I, I got a problem. I can't stop the 26s and the 27-year-olds from, you know, coming up and, you know, wanting to holler. You know, wanting to, you know, have conversation. I, I, I can't stop them. Because then you begin to carry yourself in a different way. You begin to carry yourself. And you begin to carry yourself like you're important. Like you're real important. And they begin to see that in you. They begin to see that in you. Well, I mean, were you letting your woman make critical decisions in the house? That's another thing. If a woman making decisions that a man's supposed to make, <laughs> she ain't going to be your woman for long. Because a real man going to come by and take her. I'm just saying. Okay? I'm, I'm telling you. Shake that off, man. Okay, it's cool. She don't want to marry. No big deal. Jump for joy. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Reinvent yourself and get you a woman. Get you one that's going to that's gonna be submissive. Get you one that's going to be like, hey, king. That's what you do. You find the one that's going to follow you into the, in the fourth dimension. And I promise you, boy, you're going to be happy. She's going to be asking you to get married. Look, look matter of fact, she's she going to be asking you to walk down the aisle. 
Keep your options open. Stop. Don't mope after her. Don't be moping after her. Oh, baby, please come back. No, no, no. You ain't got to beg her. You ain't got. You a king. If you are a king, the king don't beg. The king only orders. That's what kings do. The kings delegate. Kings, they order. And that is just the way that is. I hope this helped you. I hope this ain't, it wasn't too cold hearted. I hope this wasn't cold. But this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. Family, you got to do this. You got to do this. Because what will end up happening over time, you're going to become a simp. In due time, you will be a simp. If you continue to, oh, baby, oh, come on now, we can talk this out. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. See, you really want to know how, how that you make us see that you're a different person? Be a different person. Be a different person. And I swear, man, when you get it together and you work on yourself, work on your, uh, your five sources of income, and then, you know, you start walking different. You start having a different swag. You start talking different. But then, you know, she roll up on you. She pull up on you. Hey, you know, so-and-so. Oh, look at you. Nah, man. Beat it. Beat it. Because you'll have 15 other women right up on your coattail. And they'll be the queen that you need. <laughs>